Welcome back to the Ethereal Plains, everybody. Where we have our unfortunate heroes that have decided to save the elemental planes of existence. They just defeated the Air Oni and saved Emiko's sister. So, because Anata's not here, I will NPC Emiko, who drops her dragon form. Oh, who are we still missing from from World 20? That's uh, probably me. Yes, Cat One, Corpus two, three. I'm uh, in Avalon. And then Kit. Kit will be rolling his stuff from home. Right. Alright. So, with the Oni now defeated, and you didn't even seal her away yet. Like, her, the porcelain mask that uh, was left behind when her corpse melted uh, is still there without any seal on it and Kamui walks over still exhausted as fuck just reaches into one of her various bags of holding on her belt pulls out a seal and just slaps it on the forehead of the mask Ooh. that's boom, done boom. This house is clean. Gunker <laughs> awkwardly looks. Mm. All right. Gunker kind of looks around at everyone. I think you said we take a little rest. How about everyone else? Yeah, I could definitely use a rest. Kamui says is she's like she looks awful. Gun gear. Two points of exhaustion I, that she took. Gun gear will hand off. I feel the, like uh, I've died again. We go get some background music. Gun gear is going to hand her a uh, uh, his heal healing serum. Let me bring up the PDF. See what. Uh, oh, I don't. Uh, Kamui didn't take any damage. She just is exhausted. Ah, oh, damn. So she doesn't really need the uh, healing. Not She's even. Just physically exhausted. Not even if it's cherry limeade flavored. Damn. I mean, unless I'm, like, the only thing to cure her <laughs> exhaustion would be either a literal cure exhaustion potion or phoenix tears. Yeah, I know. I'm making a joke. I know. Greater restoration, baby. Here we go. All right. She does greater restoration remove exhaustion. Pretty sure, yeah. There we go. All right. That doesn't exist in this universe. <laughs> Not even going to acknowledge saying that. Thank you. It's gonna <laughs> look over at everyone. All right, who can still stand? Relatively well. I'm just gonna assume Lyre is still unconscious. Fall. Because I have no idea what happened. Stands up, looking pretty bad. Who who didn't get heat or who didn't get a dose of Gungir's healing potion last time? I know <laughs> Fall. I think I healed you. A good? Did I? Did Gungir heal you? You uh, healed him during the combat. Okay. No, I. Or was I, I got hit with a heal spell. Okay. Okay. Uh, was that Azamar that Gungir healed? I think so. I don't remember who you healed, but you healed somebody. Alright. 
Um, Gunger will actually make his way over to Fall. Be like, here you go. Job well done. And he's gonna heal you. Uh, advanced dice roller 98. Oops. I'm fine. I'm Whoops. fine. I just need the rest. Oh, well, we know I got five. D8. There we go. That's the proper dice roll. 48! Okay, that brings me back to full health. Diddly diddly diddly. All right. Kamali just, like, shuffles over to Liar, checks Pulse, make sure you're not dead. <coughs> then pulls out a scroll and just, like... Let, uh, let's see, what, what scroll does she want to pull out? Scroll of jumper cables of magic. <laughs> <laughs> she'll she'll just uh, she'll slap a uh, lesser restoration on you, which cures your ailments. My temporary magic cardiac arrest. <laughs> sure. Let's go with that. And now you're conscious with. <laughs> you wake up, you see Kamui looking down at you, and a very concerned looking Jesus looking down at you. Oh no, please don't try to kiss me. <laughs> oh good, you're up. She just. boops you in the nose just to make sure that you're still functioning. <laughs> Yeah, you're fine. And she, she kind of has you, like, uh, Jesus is laying down on, like, and his tail is curled around you, like a good boy, and you're just, like, leaning up against him. Goodest boy. Alright. After a few moments, Emmy Cohen and her sister... Like, she's helping her sister walk towards you guys. Let's all have them move together. Boop, 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 boop. <sighs> that was a disastrous mess, Kamui says. That could have gone a lot better. Yeah, that was a pretty thorough ass beating on both of our parts. Mm hmm. Whew. So, which realm do we go to next? The realm, the realm of Hellfire or the realm of Tunnels? Or the realm of bed and a stiff drink. I think we can determine which one we go into next after we get a hard maybe two days of rest. Ugh, thank God. I'm exhausted. Ravik, you holding up okay? Uh, Ravik looks at everyone and says, I'm fine. Oof. Hold on, let me do my best, Galahad. <clears throat> I'm doing fine as well! <laughs> Amazing. Tis but a poor chimney sweep. Emiko shakes her head. Well, my sister's a little worse for wear, but she's fine. She can at least function a little bit. Well, that's good to hear. At least we're all we made it all out alive. Gunger I'm gonna try to remember something. Was the sister here the ruler of the airplane? Or? You do not know. You never really got any context for why she's here. Oh yeah. We really did also, just kind of. Who has static? I hear static. That's on That's top. Tom. 
Tom, fix your mic. Is that your, uh, is that the fan in the background we're hearing? Not sure. Well, it stops now. Weird. Hmm. I guess we'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, we really did just kind of burst in here and start kicking ass. And then, on the receiving end of the ass kicking, and then went back to kicking ass. You know, there's a lot of ass kick today. Hi, how you doing? Uh, <laughs> hi. The, uh... Who, uh, the girl leaning against Emiko just raises her hand, just gives like a small wave and a small smile. We're, uh, we're Titnug Buku Wabansee. Uh, sorry about your front door. Uh, it's fine. I can get it fixed later. Not necessarily the most important thing in the world. Yeah. Uh, gods. I did not expect the Oni to hit that hard. Especially against my wind aura. Yeah, that anti magic's kind of a bunger boo. Liar, are you my doing okay? Mm, I guess. My abilities aren't magic, they're supernatural, yes, but not magic. Who the hell called me? Go away. <laughs> Please, Princess, put away your scrying orb. <laughs> this is no time for text <laughs> Somebody messages. Somebody called my phone IRL, and they didn't even leave a message. That I think it was a Do you dial. seriously have a scries and wireless plan? Mm. <laughs> we uh, copyrighted that. Well, I thank you all for the relatively quick rescue. She says, kind of sheepishly, you're scratching the back of her head with the other hand that isn't wrapped around Emiko's shoulder. And she's using her sister as kind of like a brace. Uh, you do notice um, that she has bandages uh, down her legs. So are you, and are you the one in charge here, or...? By technicality, yes. Uh, um, the previous ruler isn't around. Oh, God, did he get murdered, too? Ah, oh, no. I tried protecting them, but my powers as the Hersher of Wind aren't that strong. That's why I'm the weakest Hersher. Uh, okay. Man, we're gonna have to do something or every elemental plane's gonna have the ruler like knocked off. Oy. From what I can tell, the Earth plane leader and the Fire plane leader are still alive from my sense of getting used to shit. <laughs> the technical term for it. Highly technical. Yeah, Tom, by the way, I can still hear the static, so I'm going to attempt mute you. So it doesn't pick up on stream. <clears throat> All right. With that... She just looks to the lot of you, kind of just observing your group and how beat the fuck up you guys are. Well, considering I don't really have much to give you as a reward, I guess your reward can be staying here and getting some rest. You're welcome to use the hot springs to freshen up, relax for as long as you need. It's the least I can do for helping. 
Hey, Santa. That's too. very kind of you. Thank you. Mm. She uh, looks to Emiko briefly. Sis, I I received a lot of strange rumors from the other Hershers that protect the other realms or at least are partial guardians. Um, one of our moms was captured. And you see Emiko's eyes go a bit wide at that. How is that physically possible? They're literal goddesses incarnate. They captured Fu Hua. That should be impossible. She's literally the strongest, second strongest Hersher alive. You see Gungir slowly raise his hand. Uh, the person who has not identified herself, but <laughs> calls Emiko her sister, looks over. Y yes? To be completely honest, there's been a lot of god kicking, but butt kicking going on, so you're gonna want to get used to divine things getting, getting smashed up pretty good. Because there's been a lot of that recently. There's been a lot of things going on that hasn't made complete sense at all. Yes, Kit? Uh, Fall would like to chime in. You know, we could probably fix this situation faster. I imagine all of you remember that there is a certain scroll in my room. Do you really want to use it here? I mean, why not just poof the onis away? Simple as that. It's not that simple. They can't be destroyed. They can only be sealed. Then you, then we use a scroll to seal them. Need a special seal. Can't use any old magic to do it. This isn't yeah. any old magic, it wish. I'm, I don't know if that applies. I'm trying to remember if Gun Gear used that scroll for Gun Gear's last, or for Sardon's last upgrade. Because I, I remember post, I know. remember posting a thing on Discord. I and don't we were... remember. I know. I don't think it has been used. Gun... Or if it has, no one remembers. Gungir's just sweating like like that gift from Key and Peel. Although I commend your use of, or your idea of potentially using the wish, let's not let this be a monkey's paw. You're right. Even if it was successful, it might su it might be it might backfire. <coughs> I tell you what. Let's get to this strain of thought later on. For now, I see a group of people who are dinged up. Yeah, Ugh. let's let's all get some rest and we'll reconvene tomorrow. Ugh. She just holds her head a bit. Ugh. <laughs> Sis, maybe you should head home. I don't want our other moms being targeted. 
Emiko just nods solemnly. Yeah, you're right. And she just opens a portal and steps through. What about her skeletons? They all teleport with her. So literally, Flynn and and Freddy are alone now. Oh no! <laughs> no, they have they, they have the rest of the crew on the ship. No, we went on our own little side adventure. Well, like all not the random NPCs the are there. The only people that stayed were Minerva, Weiss, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, so they're not aware of. They're not totally alone. All right. We went on a little pirate adventure. Yep. Anyways. Chasing space whales, exploring floating islands. Yeah. So, for sake of reference, you guys take a rest in the temple. You enjoy a very good warm meal provided by the staff, warm baths, hot springs, and you sleep the night, gain the benefits of a long rest, so you get all your spell slots, your full HP, all of your other shtick. Bits and stuff back up. Kamali's fine, because she got a long rest. So no more exhaustion for her, so that's good. Sorry. And yeah. in, I'd say about 11 o'clock in the morning, you're called back into this room, this throne room once again. So I'm just going to drag everybody around here. Just in general. Well, let me tr delete Trumpet here. He's not here. <laughs> Keep good boy out and about. Hi, everyone. I'm lined up as well. There you go. <laughs> and there we go. The good boys are all here. Well... Uh, seems like everything's back in working order. Um, <coughs> Emiko's sister looks a lot better than she did yesterday. Like, she's not limping and needing support. Um, she's just... She's got two green uh, sort of semi-transparent glowing wings spread from her middle back and she's just hovering up above the ground very slightly yeah. about like a foot off the ground sorry I have a quick question yes not to sound rude but how long is this question going to be I'm actually pretty tired right now uh We've just been gone for 25 we've minutes. Been, yeah, yeah. We, haven't been, we haven't done much. Slap yourself on the face, bruh. <laughs> you gotta uh, remember, I'm sorry, I didn't get great the sleep last shot. night. And the, it's shot also the vaccine. Slap yourself even harder, then. Download coffee.jpg. <laughs> I mean, to be, to be honest, Kit, if you need to dip dip. We can just continue without you. Fall is taking a nap. A cat nap. <laughs> uh, literally. I'll see how I'm doing later. If I dip early, I dip early. Alright. I shall continue that then. <sighs> Once again, I'd like to thank you all for saving this realm. I know I said yesterday didn't really have much to offer in terms of payment. That has changed very e slightly. I can offer some of my abilities to be passed on to 
magic items, I can also give you some monetary rewards that can suffice to help you continue along your journey into the next round. Magic realm. items. Well, Kit just woke up. <laughs> that was fall. Oh, I know. <laughs> Let me see well, here. Allow me to <clears throat> explain a bit of my abilities and you can determine which ones you want to be passed on to items. Give me one second. That I might actually want to talk to you about. I've been trying to make something for Mr. Ravik, but uh haven't had the time. Thunder wind, here you are. Da, 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 da. She has a wind aura. Uh, let's see. You project an aura around you in a 30-foot radius centered on yourself on all non-magical projectiles that target you or allies within said radius that you designate uh, when you activate this as a bonus action have disadvantage to hit you and your allies within the space. Okay, so it's like wind wall. Basically, but... Except it doesn't impose disadvantage on us. Yeah. There is her force. Uh, but wait, now that. Uh, ah. Her <coughs> very powerful ability, Gale Force. When she KOs an enemy, you gain one additional action that can be used to hide, use an item, attack, or move. Those are the abilities that she can pass on to an item. She doesn't really get a whole hell of a lot in comparison to the other Hershers. Because unfortunately, the rest of it only impacts her. <clears throat> the one thing that she could do is give something uh, resistance to force damage. Because that's the only thing that she has to offer otherwise. Ganger. He's going to kind of look at every, everyone else. Eh. So right with you guys, I might just see if I can make something for Ravik. You okay with that? Sure Ra thing, if that's what you want to do. Pat, pat. He'll pat you on the back of the head. Trust me, it'll fit in with your stuff. The slashing, piercing, and bludgeoning her, sir. That's <laughs> not how you spell it. Who's she or? <laughs> oh, I. I uh, she kind of scratches the back of her head, kind of. Forgetting. Oh, right. I should probably introduce myself. I'm Wendy Caslana, uh, sister to uh, Emiko and the Hersher of Wind. Hello, Emmy. Or, or hello, Wendy. Oh, man. Yeah, I know a lot of names that sound very similar. Especially in my family. Well. Like I said yesterday, we're Titnik Vukawab and see, I'm Gun Gear. Uh, and I'm Galahad. Yeah, that's Galahad over there. Totally not, like, reaching up the back of his shirt and using him like a puppy right now. <laughs> she kind of just uh, leans forward, ex sort of excitedly, and just, like, <sighs> nods rapidly. Oh, I heard about you guys. You guys are, like, super famous in the material realm. Mom said not to talk to you, but I kind of think. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, well, more particularly. More well, tries to think. <laughs> Listen, you're super famous, but my mom says I shouldn't talk to you. <laughs> 
Well, you gotta uh, remember, she's uh, got four moms. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, well, man. she pauses. I mean, that was Mama Fuhua that said to not talk to you guys, but she ain't here, she says, just waving that off. Like she doesn't care. She's being a fangirl. It's like, it's like, sure, you can you, you get to meet Eddie Van Halen in person, but don't don't hang out with him. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> Ted, Pe- Tom, Tom Petty. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I can roll twenty. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> glad we're getting some recognition. Well, duh, like. Uh, one thing that our family kind of specializes in is just watching the material realm and seeing what goes on. I guess it's kind of hard to explain, but we get very bored. You're a, just you're a watch. voyeur. Yeah, we became their soap opera, I guess. Let's be real. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Oh, no. Loyal subscribers. Uh, yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> we'll fall blow them up again. There are Twitch streamers. <laughs> or, yeah, our Twitch <laughs> subscribers. Oh, God. <laughs> they tune Make- into our live streams. Yep. Well, What's up, gamers? Fall here. Pulls out a Glock and shoots you. <laughs> Anyways, well... If you're going to one of the other elemental planes today, I'd highly recommend either probably going to the elemental plane of Earth. Get us a little prepped before we go to our final destination. Understood. Well, oh. I've heard the fire plane is lovely this time of year. You'd burn alive in mere seconds. Yeah, usually you burn alive in mere microseconds. Pinches the bridge of her nose. <laughs> ah. And now I see why Fuhua, Mama Fuhua says you're a bad influence. <laughs> on some of my younger siblings. Hey. 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 We saved the realm. I mean, yeah, yeah, we have on multiple occasions at this point. Honestly, it's weird. It feels like we're more riding the coattails of higher higher power people. Oh, hush. Gun Gear's gonna glance on over to everyone else. Well. We think on Earth. Earth alright with everybody? It's the ground made of dirt. Sometimes goes by earth. It's real dirty. Kind of dirty, too. Kind of brownish. Called earth. Any Anybody here have claustrophobia? No? No? Eh. In the uh, gun gear before you ask, it is not the fear of Santa Claus. I know what claustrophobia is. Also, what's Santa Claus? That doesn't exist in this universe. <laughs> Damn it! I thought it did. Damn it, Fall! We had an entire non-canonical adventure explaining <laughs> explaining the holiday. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I technically made Kurt Vonnegut uh, <laughs> canon with Monkey's <laughs> Paw and it being acknowledged. So, anywho, what could be weirder? Well, if you are all ready to go, I can warp you and the rest of your group to there. Well, actually, he pulls up the horn. I'm not quite ready. There's something <gasps> I should take care of here first. Oh, yeah. Yo, let's go. Blink, blink. Rematch. Uh, Ravik's gonna kind of walk up past her and make his way toward the center of this also convenient arena <laughs> and uh blow on that horn and focus on calling on the thunder her sure 
Okay. Bring well, technically, back. because you saved her ass, she's all... Wendy's also one you could potentially summon, so now that's five you could potentially summon. Yeah, but, you know, gotta get that rematch in first. <laughs> okay. Freddy isn't here to give you divination. Or I don't... Don't give him anything. <laughs> Boom! You see a flash of lightning strike. Bam! This realm must prepare for combat. Like, oh god, no! Okay. Gotta remember her name shit. Her name is Ryden May. Or oh, May. Ravik will just be point to her and say, I, Prince Ravik, Prince Ravik will challenge you. So you finally decide to call me after all this time and accept my duel very well then. Well, this time I have no intention of backing down since of that last warning I got. <laughs> Good. I hoped I was going to be getting another challenge soon. Just adjusting her art. Beep. There we go. Well then, let us fight. Let us call my music. Pull <coughs> open her music because she actually has a unique theme. <laughs> Uh, Adam, get closer. I know he's he's gonna scoot in as close <laughs> as he can to a safe distance. <laughs> <laughs> give your give him the aura. No, I'm not. No, that, that was the problem last time. Remember, because he didn't want our help. You may you may actually get on the sidelines, and technically, if you're not engaged in combat, Azamar, your aura is not active. Technically speaking, though it is constantly active. Uh, let's see. So she only got a fifteen on her initiative. Yeah, she I'm did good. not get that high. She actually rolled really low for once in her goddamn life. But she's still going first. All right, I have her sheet open. Side <laughs> and, and let me see. Da, 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 da. Where is it? Kikarasi bass. All right. Where is? Yeah, there we go. Fire and thunder. She draws her katana from her side. And she, in a flash of lightning, is right in front of you. And she will start making her swings. Now, I have changed her very sl since the last time you fought her, so she is going to be uh, much is different. Oh, no. Let's hear the music. Yep. Yes, I hear it. Let's see. Uh... Uh, does a 17 hit you, Ravik? Nope. Alright, first attack misses. She swings wide, and you just matrix dodge her blade by ducking under it. Second attack is a 18. That matches. Alright, so that's a hit. Let's see. Raikiri, what damage do you do? Five and two. Uh, that is twenty-two points of slashing damage. 
I gotta get my calculator out. If you need that damage number again, it was 22. I got it. And 14 lunder, uh, uh, thunder damage. Bleh. English. She will end her turn there. Uh, question. If I... Because I know otherworldly form is technically an action. Do I get to attack immediately after? Or do I have to wait a turn if I use I it? I believe how I've ruled it is that you have to wait until next turn to get your secondary attack. Well, I'm just going to have to risk it then. Alright. Cast otherworldly form. Eat your plus two H AC, and you now have a flying speed. Alright. You still have your bonus action. Uh currently don't need to use a bonus action for anything. I don't think so anyway. Uh no. I believe that is your turn? Yes. Alright, first things first. She's going to spend her 20th level feature as a wizard to cast haste for free on herself. Unfortunately, she only gets one of these, so cast haste. And now she swings three times. First attack is in a 19. Uh, well, that misses now. Ooh. Uh, another 19. Okay. Don't get it. And a 23. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that hits. All right. Doesn't Tom have a thing where, uh, if somebody hits him, he can use a reaction to deal damage to them? Uh, another 24 points of slashing damage. I don't know if he does. Uh, let's see. Let's get that. I thought that was part of your channel, Divinity. Uh, well, that's see. if he wants to spend it. I think that only applies to undead, though. No. This. Wait. Uh. I want to actually make it pop up. This feature. Uh. Within five uh, hits, you with an attack, you can use a reaction to. To cause the creature to make a dex save. Uh. Creature takes 2d8 lightning damage. Or thunder damage of your choice on a failed save takes half as much. You could do that. But you also know that she's the Hersher of Lightning and Thunder. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. That's not the one I wanted. Is it this one I wanted? No, that's when I do damage. Oh, right. You're also going to need to make a con save for your concentration. Oh, okay, okay, you're fine. Yeah, essentially the rule is half the damage taken or ten, whichever is higher. Let's see. Yeah, she, she did... F you passed a 14 save. 
on the slashing damage, and I'm not counting the elemental damage for that, for the save. Just base flat damage for this instance. All right, forgot to... Uh, ah, pitiful. 11 lightning damage, additionally. Is that cut in half for me as well? Uh, I believe Storm Clerics get lightning res. I think. I know Storm Sorcerers do. Uh, let me actually look it up real quick. Let me see. Tempest Domain. Okay. I just heard back from Gypsy. Um, you know how we were thinking next week was his birthday? It was actually this week. Oh. So this was, this was the week he was taken off. Oh. Oh. Happy okay, birthday to him. Happy birthday, Gypsy. Yeah, we'll save more important and pressing matters for this week or for next week as far as... Yeah, that's why I decided game. to do this as well. That's the second reason. I was like, oh, well, a lot of people are probably going to be not here, so I might as well take care of this. It does not say you gain resistance to lightning damage. Uh, the Tempest? I yeah, I think all of the abilities. I think Storm Sorcerers are the ones who get uh, the Lightning Thunder Resistance. Right. Alright, let's just move on then. Alright, that is her turn. It is now your turn, Ravik. Alright, well, this is the part that sucks, is I'm going to have to bow her at point blank range. That still fucking hits. Even with her using shield, that still fucking hits. Need to get you a bow of smacking for when you gotta do close range. Let's see, let me actually pull up her HP. She has not taken any damage. Okay, so she took 29 piercing and 24 radiant. Alright, that's your first attack. Alright, second attack going. Oh no. That's a that's 17. Not... Let me double check her AC. She just, uh, you try to fire, you fire this <coughs> first arrow, you catch her in the shoulder as it scrapes past her shoulder. Uh, the second arrow you notch for the other one. And she just blocks it with, like, a bolt of lightning jumps from her hair, like, from her body, and, like, zaps the arrow out of the air. Unfortunately. Uh, remember that Parthia does regenerate 5 HP for you at the start of your turn. So keep track of that, too. All right, it is now her turn. She's just gonna keep swinging. Actually, well, let me double check. No, she will use her action to activate her blade song, giving her plus two to AC. Making her a little bit harder to hit. Now she's gonna swing. But unfortunately, that does take her haste action, so she can only swing twice. Yeah, that's going to hit. That's a 19 on the dice, plus 11. And second attack will miss. Barely. Barely. 
three. Wow, sad damage. 18 points of slashing damage. And 18 points of lightning damage. It is now your turn. Uh, also, hmm. concentration check. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I believe DC... Okay, you're fine. Uh, question. If I disengage, can I still take a bonus action if I do that? You can take a bonus action. Like, action, disengage, bonus action? Like, can I do that yeah. in a turn? Yes, you can. Uh, Alright, that's what I'm going to do then. I'm going to disengage, move into the sphere like a strategist, and bonus action cast uh, this on myself, even though it's meant for more than one people's. Alright, you heal yourself for 7 HP. Remember that, again, Parthia regenerates 5 HP at the beginning of your turn, so you got a little bit more than that. Alright, I assume that's your turn? Yep. Alright. Hmm. Seems like you want to keep at range. Fine by me. I can also play that game. And she just raises her sword and casts lightning bolt at you. That's a two hit for her, plus her spell mod of intelligence. That is a 22 to hit. Yeah. She's casting this at third level, which is the base, so 3d8 lightning damage. Doesn't Lightning Bolt grant a, a save? Or is it... uh, you're thinking Chain Lightning. Lightning Bolt's a to hit. Uh, that is 15 points of lightning damage. How much again? 15. And that oh, is that. her hasted action. And she is going to move over here. Come on, Ravik. Show me what you're made of. Ooh. I am assuming it's my turn. Oh, it doesn't require a deck save. An 8 hundred, to 6. 100 foot see. line. Might be. So that right. damage should have been different. So let me actually roll a d6 on my <laughs> advanced dice roller. And also concentration check when you're done. I already did that <coughs> first. So I'll just do the dex now. 28 divided by 2 is 14. You pass the check. And you, you did... Let's see. You did pass her save. No, you matched her save. So you still pass. So you also take 14. Alright, it is your turn. There you go. Alright, time to go on and shoot. That'll absolutely hit. Boom. Just look at the first one. <laughs> 42 and 19. Not bad. Very good chunk in her. And Tom, just to double check something, have you been throwing 2d8 lightning damage or thunder damage? I uh, know, because for this fight in particular, I figure that's pretty much useless. Okay. 
Against right. her, it is useless. She's completely immune to those two elements. Okay. Double check, triple check. Can't fight thunder with thunder. There we go. Absolutely hits. You totally can. They're both kind 39 of 39 and 22. Very good shunk. You pierce, like, you shoot into her armor, and you clearly see it sticking. Oh, this is the most fun I've had in a while. Alright, then. Let's see how you deal with this. I assume that's your turn. Yep. You watch the spectral arms that cut the portal open for your ship to go through into the water plane form with a enormous katana that floats beside it. The ar one of the arms unsheaths the massive katana as she still holds hers aloft in a very similar stance and she will slice down with her massive katana. Oh, that's a 19 plus 11 to hit. That's definitely gonna hit. Yeah. This thing has a big reach. Second attack from the big ass katana. That's absolutely gonna hit. Third attack is a mess. Alright, so let me roll damage. Let's see, so this is a D8. Uh, let's see, so her attack is 4. Alright, then just add her modifier twice, which is 7. So it's 14. Okay, so a total of 50 slashing damage. And 32 lightning damage. That is her turn. Let's see, uh, I'm just adjusting health. There we go. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna have to do this. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna heal myself. Good shit. Uh, how much Base is that? level heal, I believe, is 70. 70. Yeah, for every level above, it increases by 10 HP. Yep, up to 9th level, it becomes 100. So, with Parthia, you got 75 HP back. Because you're still holding it. Now, that did cost your action, but technically you still have your secondary attack from otherworldly form. Yeah, which is when I I thought that was only if you actually attack. Oh, uh, let me see. Otherworldly form. Real quick. Uh... I believe you ruled it as, like, I could do a spell and one attack if I chose to do it that way. Yeah, but usually extra attack only goes off if you do an attack action. It says that it, it applies just, like, extra attack, so I will allow him to still attack. Okay. Only once if he casts a spell, so that will still hit. Sorry if I was being a rules lawyer there. I was actually a bit confused. Because I know if you uh, have extra attack, like a fighter does, and you're an Eldritch Knight, I believe you can still cast a... 
a spell and make a melee attack, so long as no. you're in range. No. Well, that's how I'm ruling it. Because it seems better that way. Alright, good chunk. Back to her turn. Alright. She just analyzes the situation for a moment, as you've definitely done a number on her. She definitely saw you heal yourself. I don't think Warcaster does that. Um, let me see. What does she want to do? Does she want to activate one of her abilities? Because she has yet to do that. Where are you, Thunder Hersher? Yeah, she will activate this ability. She will speak a single... She will yell out a single word to those of whom who understand your comic. You will understand this. Oh, fuck. Yeah. She says this simple phrase... Bella, to my side! And you watch summoning out of a giant bolt of lightning in front of her is a giant red dragon that has lightning sparking across its body. Funny, I thought this was a one-on-one -on -one duel. Hey, yeah, that's not fair. So let me just use Red Dragon as a... marker. Set it to the back. Yes, I did say that. But that was before. As far as activates his shield and pulls out his sword. Ravik? Just say the word. She mounts and I'll cut this dragon. dragon down. She mounts the dragon and she points directly at you. Obliterate. And it unhinges its jaw and unleashes a torrent of red lightning on you. You need to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Oh god. Woo! God damn. Good shit. Yeah, technically she's on the back of her beast. Alright, 22. That absolutely saves. Let me roll damage. Fifty-six lightning damage reduced to half, because you did pass its DC. And you watch after... Like, this thing rose into the air very slightly and blasted its red death beam of lightning at you. Then you watch it disappear into a, a blinding light, and she crash, and she launches towards the ground and crashes, causing a massive shock. <coughs> you need to make another dexterity saving throw from her shockwave. Uh, That's an 11. That's a failure. Okay. 
This is slightly less damage. You take 24 lightning damage and you are knocked 10 feet away from her specifically. So you'd be like that way. You'd be over here. And that is her turn. It is now your turn. By the way, uh, when you were flung off the uh, side and landed, you were knocked prone. Oh no. So right. you have to use half of your movement to get up. I'll do so. Let's see. Oh yeah. Let me do this first before I do anything else. Yep. Concentration check. Ooh! Natural 20. God, you are you? fine. I will count that as two successes, so w next time you take damage, you don't have to roll a save. Nice. Right, I'm gonna have uh, the upcast. Uh, I think I gotta do that. Yeah. Heal at uh, seventh level. So I believe right. that's uh, additional. That's ten H. Wait, no, it's base level seven. Wait, no, 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 no. yeah, uh, that'd be eighty HP. Eighty-five counting Parthia. Oof. Yeah, she hurts. A lot. Oh, I'm good. And it does my health here. Uh. God damn it. There we go. Alright, and I'll get my now one attack off. Uh. That'll hit. 41 and 18. Hmm. Alright, she's still up. She's definitely beat up, but she's still up. All right, it's now her turn. <laughs> You've definitely proven yourself a, a lot hardier of a fighter than I expected. That bow of yours certainly packs a punch. Kick her ass, Ravik! She will... 10, 15, 20, 25, 30... And she looks you dead in the eyes. You've definitely proven yourself worthy. In my uh, eyes. And she that's... offers her hand to you. And she ends her turn. Like, she sheathes her katana. And the astral arms sheathe the big ass katana and she offers her hand to you. Oh, so this is like a form of uh, standing down, I'm assuming. This is her... Yeah. Essentially, this is her technically surrendering in a way. She's right. acknowledged you as worthy. She's just giving you the honors. Ravik will go up to her and shake her hand then. You feel lightning course through your body as you shake hands with her. You don't take any damage, but... <laughs> I was about to say! <laughs> just pulled a Joker but, move. Oh, no. Her party joy buzzer. 
God damn, <laughs> is the experience electrifying. Go sit in the corner. I'll be there down there to deal with you in a minute. Yeah. Uh, I had to pull what that. What a shocking turn point. of events. All right. Ooh. And she crosses her arms after you, you finish shaking her hand. And she just nods. Lord Raikiri will certainly be very happy that you decided to accept my duel. I believe you also said something, at least around the first time we met, something about being an acolyte. Indeed. Though that takes time and preparation, time that you do not have right now. I will come back in at a later date for that ritual. Very well. As of right now, if you ever need an extra boost of power, call upon our god, and he will give you a small sample of his power by letting you wield Raikiri. And she taps the sword at her side. One of the various Raikiri. Let me tap my notes last time. Uh, I gave you the name last. Yeah, you uh, did. Okay, I was just checking. I don't remember what I said. <laughs> but I know I gave it to you. <sighs> well then, if that is all you need me for, I bid you farewell, adventurers. And good luck in the Earth Plane, or whichever one you're going to. You're going to need it. And she vanishes in another bolt of lightning. There's just clapping from gun gear. You hear a very sarcastic slow clap from Kamaway. Uh, hey, like, shit up. Clap, she did well. Clap, clap. Well done. You received the recognition from a Hersher. Not something. I apologize for fir the first time. I let my fear of lightning get the best of me during that battle on top of, well, all of this plain material stuff going on seemed to take precedent at the time, but I acted a bit selfishly there. It is understandable when facing your fears head on. <laughs> Trust me, I, under I get that. You see, Especially bearing death in the face. Yeah. You see, Kit. Have a good night, dude. Yeah, have a good night, Kit. Yeah, Get the sorry. feeling better. Sorry, I can't stay on. It's fine. Don't worry about it too much. All right. Gun Gear's going to offer out, uh, offer out his little fist for a knuckle bump from Ravik. Ravik will... Do the awkward shaking of the hand through the fist bump. Oh no! <laughs> you you hold out your fist. He just grabs your hand and shakes it. Oh god! He does the car oh, throttle. Back. No. <laughs> <laughs> like ah 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 no. <laughs> There's just a single word from Ravik as Gun Gear offers out his offers out a fist bump. Snail. It's <laughs> like. Oh, <laughs> Rafik, how, how could you? Oh, see what I can do about getting you uh, some official regalia, Mr. Acolyte. I suppose I would be worthy of it now, even more so. Gonna kick you up with some sweet digs. All right. Let's see who I can scavenge up to help me get those done in time. 
Captain Ravik to the size. Shame Morgan wasn't here to see it, though. She'll be nonetheless proud of you. As are all of we. Or all of us. Uh, words. Fuck. <laughs> That's a more language! <laughs> Alright. So what do we do now, crew? I'm back. I'm here. What did I miss? Well... We were just <laughs> bantering. Alright, cool. Alright! Uh, you watch Wendy, like, fly over and <laughs> being the frickin' fangirl that she is. Oh my god, that was so cool! You fought Mom and lived! <laughs> Ravik? <laughs> yeah, he just kind of looks like, hmm. Yeah, that's my mom. <laughs> she says with a cheeky grin. She's kind of a badass when she wants to be. Otherwise, she kind of just nags at the rest of us to not screw up, not do anything bad, yada yada yada. I mean... I'm I'm kind of her child and Kiana's child, so I'm kind of a weird mix of chaotic and good at the same time. But I'm also very excited that you actually managed to get recognized by your god, so congratulations, you did good. Yeah. Uh, also oh. Also, if you blow that horn you should be able to call me if need be. If you need help in the future. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. You beat up her mom. Yeah. You all ready to go to the next plane? Yeah. Gun Gear's gonna kinda look around at everyone. Should we, uh. Should we send a message to Flynn? I can send a message to Flynn, Connolly says, so holding up a, a sending orb from her pack. Ugh. Flynn, in your mind, you hear a message. Hey, it's Connolly. Look, uh, we finished off the Oni, sealed it away. Can you <coughs> pick us up? Thanks. Uh, already? It's been like a, a, like a couple hours. You've been on your pirate adventure for probably like over ten hours. I mean, it's uh, been like a it's already. Been, it's been, it's like, been like over a day since already. You've been on adventure. It's yes. only been a day. I'm okay. sure you had your fun. I'll Can we do this like right the way to figure out what kind of fun they had? I'm mildly interested in this. <laughs> Flynn <laughs> went full pirate and like robbed a bunch of innocent people. It's like, Sue, <laughs> I really got into the role. <laughs> Listen, I technically used to be evil. It's not that hard to switch my alignment. <laughs> It was like. Why do I imagine when you arrive, you just have a, a parrot Freddy on your shoulder, the giant, a wide brim ca captain's hat, a, your glorious moustache, and fake goatee? <laughs> it's like. Hey, I don't need a fake goatee. I can instantaneously <laughs> grow my own. Thank you very much. <laughs> you have your goatee. You have, for whatever reason, an eye patch. For whatever and reason, for the aesthetic. Uh, for the pink eye, thank you. <laughs> you. You borrow, like, an eye patch from, like, the medical ward that you have and on the ship. Just a dripping with stolen gems. <laughs> Why do I imagine? You just, like, raided the freaking. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Toe's already got a four-star rating in uh, 
<laughs> from their out from their escapades. We gotta get the fuck out of here. At the airstrip, <laughs> you you see Toe exit the ship. Uh, you see that Minerva and Weiss are also in pirate outfits. They look like <laughs> they're very. <laughs> <laughs> Weiss, Minerva, we didn't even have pirate outfits on board. Oh, God, they did you steal those rope. two? <laughs> they used illusion magic to make theirs. Listen, if we stole some pirates' clothes, then it's technically a good thing. <laughs> I mean, you did, you did fight some sky pirates. Yeah. You fought, like, three ships. Nice. Nothing too... Definitely smaller than the sub, but... Not terribly inimpressive. What's with all those blood stains all over our battering ram? What have you been up to? It was definitely above board and in the keeping of Titnopuku Wabansi's policies of only fighting people who deserve it. <laughs> I mean, do we have our policies? Like broadside the ship. Yeah, we have policies? Oh god, when did this happen? I mean, did you guys... Weren't you the ones who wrote up that contract I signed? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The contract. Cobbly face palms. Blink, blink. I mean, not that I was actually planning on following it, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. Now that I'm a law-abiding citizen? Am I sure, a citizen? Cobbly just... Kamali nods yes for the citizen part. Do Law abiding with the shaky hands. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've assassinated anybody since I've come into the good graces of the law. <laughs> yes. Technically, you work for the guild. Well, thanks for me. <laughs> so, technically, you're doing a job. So, technically, you're not doing anything illegal by dealing with pirates. Oh good, I like having a job. <laughs> anyway, does anybody want any treasure? <laughs> Just a costume jewelry, but you know. See, there is a difference between we manslaughter and assassination. Have a pirate adventure. I could probably use some gold for crafting. A lot We've of got gold! Ravik, if you want to chip in, that'd also help. Ooh, do you want more of my hair? Uh, I don't need anything transmutation -y. Okay, well, it's really expensive, apparently, if you sell it. <laughs> I mean, Kamali just, like, like weaves a frickin' another wide brim pirate hat and just puts on Gungir's head with her vector manipulation. It doesn't oh, cost no. her anything, because it's just... <laughs> it's is it very as easy. big as mine? <laughs> it's got the. It's very fancy with a feather sticking out of it. Oh, but no. is it as big as mine? I've been probably j about the same size. I've been recruited mm. into a life of crime now. Answer to everything: crime. <laughs> <laughs> I can show you the ropes. I have been a criminal for my entire life. Oh, I know. And here I'm trying to start a reputable organization. Oh wait, no, that failed when I first started it. Never mind. <laughs> Face bomb uh, from. I uh, could introduce you to so many criminals. <laughs> I know, like every bad guy. <laughs> Please don't. And I'm the bad guy. <laughs> Starts playing. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I just spent a dime in the pokey. I'm a criminal now. Anyways. Uh, with that aside, your options now are either to faff about for a bit or go to the next elemental plane. I vote faffing. Faffing yeah. so far has been really fun. Might as well. We're missing people right at this point. Mm -hmm. so. Fair enough. We can, we can cut it early. And Gungir, sesh. Gungir and will need to spend some time crafting and get materials together. Alright. I suppose that will call our session for tonight. As he didn't even get to join us, other than in spirit. 
Oh, he was just lurking here. The entire time. That's fine. I mean, I'm not even ready yet. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were going to be joining us in, like, character de Okay, okay. He was literally just lurking because he felt like it. Oh. And because he asked to. Oh, okay. I thought you were our next guest character. Okay. He is, but I not am. for a bit. All right. So we'll be ending right on <laughs> hour 25. Okay. Nice. R rather shorter session. Bye, chat. See you next week. Five, Meow. four, Meow. three, Meow. Two, Meow. one. Meow.